This is just a quick video to show some of the items that I keep in a little pouch that I keep in my knitting bag. So I just made a, just a small pouch um, and I keep all of these in there in my handbag so that um, I've always got everything I need for my knitting. Uh, probably the most important thing for me are these lockable stitch markers. Um, they're really handy for marking um, perhaps a round that you did a decrease on and you want to then count up when you do the next one or a cable round. They're also handy to mark the correct side of your, the public side of your knitting. Um, sometimes the wrong side and the right side looks quite similar, so it's handy to mark the right side. Uh, also, if you've dropped a stitch, um, you can actually um, pop that in there and lock it, and um, then when you get around to it, fix it. Um, I also have some of these um, non-locking stitch markers, just regular ones. Um, these are the Coco Knits ones, and I find them quite handy because they um, will stick to the magnet bracelet that I have, a Coco Knits magnet bracelet, which is really nice. And then I have a couple of fancy ones. Um, just for me, they're helpful to mark the beginning of a round, so I know when I've... Um, and they, they look different to these ones. The only thing you want to be careful with these ones is that some of them, they're not sort of all that well made, and they can actually... Um, snag on your knitting so they look pretty but just make sure they don't they don't have a sharp end on them um, so they're the stitch markers that I have um, I also have crochet hooks they're really important a small um, size hook and a medium medium large-ish hook to um, pick up any drop stitches sometimes um, when you're out and you um, knitting might fall off the needles and um, ladder down a little bit so I'll use these to get them back up and get them back on the needles I also have a tape measure, um, you know, I might need that for working out when I need to do something new in the pattern and a pair of scissors and I usually keep um, some dental floss as well just in case I have to put, if I'm travelling somewhere on a plane and I have to put my scissors in my checked luggage, the um, cutter on the dental floss is handy to be able to cut yarn with. Uh, I also keep um, tapestry needles, this is in like a little clover, um, it's called a chibi and just stores the tapestry needles for um, weaving in ends or um, sewing up your knitting. So they're quite handy and the other thing that I keep uh, is some cable needles. Um, that one's a slightly larger one and it's got a bump in it. This is a straight one and it's also magnetized and it sticks to the uh, magnet bracelet. Uh, it's also handy even if you're not doing cables they're handy just to have an extra an extra needle like if something has dropped down um, or you just need to put some stitches on a on a needle briefly uh, the other thing I keep is waste yarn so if I'm um, if I'm knitting and I get I'm knitting say a top down sweater and I get to a point where I need to take off the stitches for the sleeves um, I usually put them on um, just some smooth thin waist yarn so this is just some four ply fingering weight yarn you just don't want anything too fuzzy and the other things that I keep um, is an emery board just in case um, my I've snagged a nail or something or, or I've broken a nail um, that will end up catching on your knitting so I have an emery board to fix that and hand cream to keep my hands soft and uh, a band-aid just in case you know I cut myself I don't want to bleed on my knitting so that's um, pretty much it. Oh, actually I do, there's one more thing um, I do keep in my, even though I have the tape measure, um, this is kind of just a handy small little ruler and it also has um, a needle sizer with US sizes and metric sizes on it. So if I've got a knitting needle that doesn't have the size marked on it, I can quickly check what size it is. And I do keep uh, paper and pen in there. Um, I use that less these days because um, I make a note on my phone but it is really worth making a note somewhere when you do something um, you think you'll remember in your knitting but if you're doing a sleeve you want to obviously make sure they match so it's worth putting in the um, time to just make a quick note what you did on the first one you can often go back and take a look at the knitting to work out um, what you did but it's certainly quicker if you just write it down the first time and that's it